Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Vanessa, and yeah, thank you for tuning in. Today's video is gonna be about how to get into medical school in Namibia. Yes, how you, how one can actually get into the medical school. Um, yeah, video is mainly for people interested, people who actually want to study medicine. This is for you. Number one. Okay, so number one is you really need to make sure that you like first of all like you have to make sure that medicine is for you you need to like guys medicine is not easy okay <laughs> it's not easy <laughs> are you sure you want to do this it's not easy easy Easy. Mm. guys for real medicine is not easy so you have to think about this like 155 times medicine is not easy guys you really need to make sure that this is what you want this is the career that you want to go into because guys you really need the drive you really need the energy to keep moving on keep moving forward and if and if you think that um, you know you want to try this thing out and you don't know if it's really for you Aish, then guys you might not actually make it this far um, so medicine you need to make sure in the beginning that it is for you okay so secondly you need to make sure that you actually apply to get into medicine so that means like um, making sure that the dates that you're applying are actually the, you apply during the current dates so in at UNAM, um, the date for applying for medicine, they usually do it in June, July, August day. So it's uh, they want your, especially your first semester, your last term, grade 11 results, your first term, grade 12 results, and your second term, grade 12 results. Those are the most important results to apply with. They don't really consider the third term. The third term in the... Yeah, third term is most basically your um, your NSSH, you know that Namibian standard higher level, ordinary level certificate, that one, that they'll only consider once you've gotten provisional acceptance into the school. So you need to make sure you actually get the provisional acceptance and therefore you need to work hard in your first, in your last term of grade 11. In your first term of grade 12 and your second term of grade 12 but in general i would just say work hard right <laughs> work hard yeah right <sighs> <clears throat> work hard in the beginning till the end and you'll actually reap the fruits that you sow i mean like actually hard work pays off so you really need to just just see how it goes and then you know number three 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 once you've applied and whatnot you then have to like patiently wait obviously on the people to give you a response and a reply they'll reply and then you'll have to go to the school of medicine where you'll get an interview the interviews are usually done in november um december yeah actually october november that period it's actually the period where exams start um so if you if you get a call that time good if you don't yeah if, if you don't <laughs> always always don't give up always go and inquire to the people and ask okay what I've applied, what's gone wrong, um, I haven't gotten a reply from anyone of y'all, so can you help me out here? But usually they'll reply and they'll tell you to come back to the School of Medicine where you'll be asked to basically come and sit. Now they do sitting, so you actually come and you sit and you write an essay and then you also get interviewed somewhere in that process. But yes, um, I'm pretty outdated a bit with the whole um, essay and interview process, but I still know that they do an essay and an interview process um, I think maybe a, a, a fresh fre first year will know 
um, more about how they do the whole sitting. But I know that they sit for the essay, they write the essay at the School of Medicine for like an hour, like an exam type of setting, and then um, they get interviewed or they get interviewed before the essay or I don't Number four. Just pray. Guys, pray and just ask the Lord. If this is really your field, if this is really what you want, then it will not pass you by. Okay, so now I just want to quickly just get into the criteria of how to get into med school. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but you need to either be grade 12 or you had done maybe a previous degree. Yeah, something like that. I just know about those two criteria, but I think I'll put a link below on our prospectus and then you can like clearly go and see what is required. <clears throat> but the one that I really know of is being grade 12 and having higher level or ordinary level. Now those are two categories. So grade 12, higher level, ordinary level. Now on higher level, you have um on higher level you need to have uh i think you need to have a, a a grade a grade two or better in english uh you need to have a grade one or two in physics or math hey anna vanessa uh, what do you call your channel? What do you call your people? <coughs> Vanessa. The